long history with drugs, long, 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 and peculiar drugs. I, uh, I loved Ritalin for a while. I don't know why. I don't know why I took it. I think I found a Ritalin dealer in the neighborhood. It's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> then I moved on to cocaine, and I loved cocaine. That was before crack ruined its reputation. I loved it. <laughs> loved it. I mean, it made sex fabulous. It was just a wonder. The first couple of times, fabulous. The next 500 times, not as good. <laughs> and I liked hallucinogens. I did. I loved hallucinogens because they made everything just so vivid, so, I don't know, tangible. Like you could look at someone and they would melt right in front of you. It's very exciting. <laughs> and they weren't dangerous, particularly. I mean, there was always some idiot who thought they could fly, but you, you know, ignored them. <laughs> Last time I ever did a hallucinogen, I was in Mexico. And uh, on vacation, I decided, you know what I think I'll do now? I think I'll take mescaline and go snorkeling. Why not? <laughs> Great idea, considering I don't swim and I'm paranoid. Very good idea. <laughs> so now I'm underwater. I am so completely out of control, the exotic fish are pointing at me. <laughs> Anyone interested in seeing a small Jew having a panic attack underwater? <laughs> Tour leaving from reef number 12 in five minutes. Then I started to hallucinate. Can't get better. I'm hallucinating a fish that doesn't exist. I am convinced I see a, the filter fish <laughs> rushing toward me, and it's in its jar. <laughs> That horrible jelly. 